Greetings everyone, welcome to the Essence of Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Aries, for all sun, moon, rising and Venus signs, and also cross watchers as well. Thank you everyone for watching. So we can jump into this reading. I have pre-shuffled, so I'll start with these messages here. We have separation and it says time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And we have attraction. It says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And we have heart to heart conversations. It says honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So separation, attraction and heart to heart conversations. So I'll lay out the tarot so we can tap into the energies and see uh, what spirit wants you to know what's going on in your energy field. So we've got the fool. Aries, this is your card. First card out. <laughs> okay, five of cups, four of cups. So I'll clarify these cards. Get some more insight here. We've got the tower, Scorpio and Aries energy. Eight of pentacles. Further clarify with knight of swords. We've got strength here. Could be dealing with a Leo. Or you got Leo in your chart. And we got Ten of Swords. Okay, so now that I've laid out the cards. Yeah, I can see that uh, whoever I'm reading for. There is somebody that wants to uh, take a leap of faith. I can see with a full energy. Someone wants to take a leap of faith towards you. Someone's focused on a new beginning here. And this this has come about because I can see there has been a, a, a painful ending. With this Ten of Swords. Yeah, so there has been an ending which is bringing about a new beginning. We have the Fool here. So whoever's in this energy of starting something new then uh yeah it looks like um they're not looking back i mean i really feel like during this time this is someone that is following their heart i feel because we have heart to heart conversations so this is someone that's coming to uh open up their feelings it looks like it says honestly discuss your feelings with each other yeah there's a strong attraction here yeah i'm getting that this is someone that's really attracted to you i'm getting yeah so it does look like um now that they've ended things because it looks like they were in a relationship with someone else this is someone that has broken up here We've got the tower in this reading so there's a breakup here yeah it leads me to this separation it says time apart from your partner is on the horizon yeah this is someone breaking up or they're broken up with someone either way there's a relationship that's coming to an end we've got the tower here there is a broken relationship or you know situation that's broken it looks like someone is taking that strength, finding the strength and the courage to break free, it looks like. Because we've got the strength here. Someone's finding that courage. Being brave. Yeah, this is an act of bravery. Someone's really, you know what, it does take courage to follow your heart, you know, it really does. Because I really feel like this is someone following their heart. Yeah. And that takes courage to follow your heart. You know, because uh, with the full energy, someone is taking a leap of faith. <sighs> it takes bravery. It really does. Because you have to put your trust and faith in the most high you know you got to trust that the most high 
will catch you when you fall, if you fall, you know. Because this is someone getting ready to take a leap off a cliff here and uh, they're just uh, putting their trust and faith in God that they will land safely. And uh, with the fall in the upright, they will. Someone will land safely, you know, if they keep the faith and self-belief. If they continue with the strength energy, which uh, is all about self-belief and confidence, bravery, then yeah, this person won't lose. Whoever's taking a, a leap of faith in a new direction here is the right thing to do, it looks like. Because whatever situation, relationship they're leaving behind uh, was uh, was nothing but um, backstab and betrayal. I feel like whatever's happened in this situation, it looks like it's the last straw. I mean, this is like the nail in the final nail in the coffin. This is like severing ties. This is a goodbye. Wish you all the best. See you later. Moving on. And not looking back here. Yeah, I really feel like uh, with the Five of Cups, someone is focused on moving forward. Five of Cups in reverse. So it looks like during this time, someone is healing, I'm getting, because it looks like it's been rough. Nine of Wands. Wounded Warrior. This is someone that's been through a tough time. It's been rough. I'm getting. Someone um, needs to take time to heal. Gather themselves. Gather their thoughts. Gather their emotions. Process what they've been through. I'm getting. Yeah. I feel like someone's trying to distract themselves at work. With work. Eight of Pentacles. But um, I'm getting that someone is not giving up the fight. Yeah, as much as um, um, as much as it 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 is it gets a bit challenging, but someone's not giving up. I'm getting. They're still finding that strength to overcome challenges here. Yeah, someone's keeping themselves busy at work. Trying to focus on work, making the effort here. Yeah, someone's really focused on um, self-improvement during this time. Someone's really, um, I feel like someone's focused on um, self-development, you know, Eight of Pentacles. Someone's putting in the work here on themselves. Yeah, this is what I'm getting as well. It's like someone's not giving up. Someone's not giving up here. Let's clarify. Uh, let me get some clarity with the, um, the tower. Okay, we've got the king of um, king of cups, six of cups, king of pentacles. Okay, so yeah, two masculine energies, six of cups, oh, three of swords. Yeah, it's uh, this situation, uh, it could be a same sex situation, two kings here. But, um, yeah, there's two masculine, it could be a uh, could be a female in a masculine energy. I mean, take it out, it resonates. But yeah, this situation, um, definitely a third party situation here. With the three of swords. Yeah, someone's definitely recovering from this uh, breakup here. It looks like someone was betrayed. Yeah, we've got the seven of swords. Yeah, someone was betrayed here. Someone's being sneaky and deceptive because uh, someone feels backstabbed in this situation. So someone was cheating on someone here. Definitely a third party situation here. Yeah. 
Yeah. This is what I'm getting. This is what's causing the um the betrayal here. Yeah, we've got the ace of swords. That's the truth. That is the truth here. Someone found out the truth. The truth came to light. Someone got, got clarity that someone was cheating with someone else here. Someone feels really betrayed and backstabbed here. It's a lot. It's a lot of emotional pain. Yeah, clarify the Ten of Swords. Oh, Eight of Cups. Yeah, they are leaving. It's over. Yeah, it is over. Someone's really leaving. Whatever has been brought to light was the final nail in the coffin. It looks like, yeah, we've got the chariot, cancer energy. Moving on. Someone's moving on here. Yeah. Someone's definitely moving on. It's over. It is over in this situation. Yeah, so it looks like this is someone that wants to start a new beginning. Whoever I'm reading for, I mean, I feel like for some of you, this is someone that's coming to uh, open up their feelings for you here. They want a new beginning with you, with this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. This is what I'm getting. Someone's leaving to go and find their happiness here. Yeah, they didn't find happiness in that situation. Yeah, we've got separation. It says sadness, missing you, thinking about you. So, yeah, someone wants to let you know that they're missing you, thinking about you. So, this is someone that you're separated from. Take it how it resonates here. We have girl with a snake, empath and narcissist paradigm. So, I feel like you have boundaries in this situation. Maybe, it's a, like I said, it's a third-party situation. Maybe you're the one that put up boundaries because this is someone, you're dealing with someone that was cheating with someone else here. And they're missing you. Yeah, cassette, outdated thinking, replaying events over in their head. So, yeah, this is someone dwelling on the past. I can see four of cups. Yeah, someone's still dwelling, replaying events over in their head. Yeah, camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past. So, yeah, someone is dwelling on the past during this time, replaying events over their head and reminiscing, learning from the past. I feel like they, this is a tough lesson this person had to go through. It's very painful. So I feel like this, uh, this experience is making someone learn here, have a different perspective. Yeah, we have photographs. So someone's looking at your photos, missing you. Yeah, heavy nostalgia during this time. Someone's really dwelling on the past here. I'm getting someone feel like they made a, a wrong choice. Yeah, a lot of attraction here. We have I like you, someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun, flirting, want to date. So yeah, for some of you, yeah, you have someone from your past this is a connection that you have with someone from your past here but they made a, a wrong decision a poor choice they chose someone else over you even though they have a strong attraction for you yeah so it, it, it looks like uh, they're learning the hard way how to make healthy choices so it looks like things are turning around we have not enough, frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fears, ego issues, jealousy. Yeah, this person, and they're working on building up their courage here and their bravery. They feel insecure, I feel. Yeah, they're working up the courage to talk to you. This is what it looks like for some of you. Yeah, this person, they may be guilty for breaking your heart here, so they want to talk to you. Yeah. Lightning, sudden change, shocking news. Yeah, it's going to be a shock. We have the butterfly relationship is evolving to the next phase. Yeah, so that's the messages, you guys. I hope this reading helps. I'll be back soon.